Prime Minister Modi, but I know that a totally principal opposition, opposed with ideology which have Peria have, DMK is celebrating their event today evening, Madhiram Pirambira also. How do you see sir, DMK's event? No, DMK first itself, they, st they set their narrative only in negative politics. For example, Periyar said when everyone had their uh, faith, uh, he was talking against uh, Hindu religion and they were putting Chapal Mala and the Lord Rama. So first itself, they were uh, projecting uh, a negative ideology among the people and they were projecting a negative emotional uh, blackmailing, that's all I can say. So whatever may be the emotional issues they take, and uh, that even even some of the uh, in the initial days, emo uh, the uh, the workers immolated themselves. So it was it was a very very uh, negative type of politics they took forward. And apart from that, they constructed their fort on probably always in false promises. For example, first day in 1967. They told for per rupee they will provide 3 kg rice and then they reduced 1 kg rice. Then first they told all pan Tamil Nadu they will be giving and then they told only Chennai and corporations like Coimbatore they were provided, people were provided from that area. And now even now, because that's a past history, even now they pretty well knowing that need cannot be scraped. But they gave a promise that immediately if they come to power the first signature will be to remove need. So, pretty well knowing that, that they will give false promises. And they are not accepting the uh, three language policy of the NEP. Because now the world is has changed challenging and the world, uh, the horizons are widened. The children, when they know another language, their opportunities are more. But they want to confine them uh, with the linguistic policy. So, always they have a narrative which is negative, negative narrative and they encash the emotional feelings of the youngsters and they built the party in that way. So always we think that should be a national interest even though it is a regional party. You know that for past week uh, after once uh, Thirmavalavan called for uh, liquid policy ban and uh, he called the ADMK also for the event. There has been a debate in the alliance between DMK and BC Cup. Yesterday he also met uh, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister MK Stalin. How do you see this uh, turnover of alliance between VCK and DMK? No, it is a threatening call. Actually, uh, Thirma Valavan did not talk about prohibition till three and a half years. Three and a half years, he pretty well knowing that he is in the alliance and there were illicit liquor cases, then why didn't he demand uh, uh, total uh, prohibition? Now, the prohibition, in the name of prohibition, he is threatening this uh, Stalin's government to for more seats and to have more recognition in between he circulated a video saying not only we share seats we want to share power also so we want a coalition government then immediately they withdrew the uh, uh, video clippings so they want to convey the message that we want to share in the power and if you are not accepting that we will go with ADMK because they called invited ADMK uh, for that uh, conference also. So it is just a threatening, demanding conference. It is not with the true spirit of prohibition. That's all I can say. How do you see ADMK come into the VC cause coalition government? You know that the ADMK senior leader Selu Raja told that Tamil Nadu people who don't like coalition government. Uh, 2020 election would be a fight between DMK and ADMK. No, that we cannot say because uh, 2026, uh, there is one and a half years are there and uh, we cannot say uh, whether there will be a coalition government or not, because always political scenario can change in any state. So uh, there could be a coalition government. Uh, we cannot clearly say there won't be a coalition government. Definitely BJP will take a part, will be a very important player, because this time we have uh, uh, got the second place in most of the uh, con uh, constituencies, and we are emerging as a stronger party. So let us see, wait and see. But we cannot clearly exclude there won't be any uh, coalition government. And final question, ma'am. You know that after Vijay has launched a political party, he said to make uh, clear what is ideology and policy. Yes. yes. But he has been following certain principles, like he have conveyed his wishes for Anna's birthday yes. and Peria's birthday. Yes. He has said social justice and uh, equal yes. rights. Yes. And how do you see this? Yeah, that is what I thought he will be with a different ideology and he will follow a different path. But uh, again, he talked negative about uh, NEET among the children who should have been motivated for NEET. He, uh, he uh, 
gave a speech against neat one thing and second thing he did not wish for vinayaka chaturthi but other religious festivals he is wishing and third he is telling when wishing about the annas birthday he is talking about two language policy why he is talking about two language policy even his films are released in different languages and even they are the all the actors are talking about uh, uh different language talking to different languages for their business and even in tamil nadu the even though they say that uniform education system is followed uniform education system is not followed they want to follow two language policy in the government schools but they are not following the two language policies in the private schools even the children from the tamil nadu ministers are learning hindi and other languages also it is not only hindi third language means even our uh, uh, regional languages can be taught can be learned but they are not allowing it but they are releasing their pictures in other languages so they should not confine themselves to these type of policies but unfortunately he is painting himself as he will in future also his attitude will be towards uh, like a dmk ideology and uh, he's, he has painted a picture almost a, a regional picture and i want a regional party with the national interest but now itself he is revealing his mindset as if he will also uh, will go with the ideology of the dmk and uh, like like uh, dravidian parties so let us wait and see but till now what he has conveyed is clearly revealed that he is also going in the path of dmk thank you